today's problem from two dimensional geometry and this problem from general equation of second degree and problem says that find the canonical form and its nature of the point which is given by 7x square minus 6 xy minus y square plus 4x minus 2y minus 2 this is equal to 0 okay to find the canonical form and the nature of the conic we first compare this equation with the general equation of second degree which we written in already here this is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c okay now comparing these two equation we write here the value of a a is given by 7 and h is given by this is 2h this is equal to minus 6 so h is minus 3 and b is given by minus 1 g is given by 2 f is given by minus 2 and c this is equal to minus 1 okay now we find two quantity which is delta and d the delta is said to be determinant okay of this general equation now delta is given by if we expand this determinant then we get the result of the form abc plus 2fgh minus a f square minus b g square minus c a g square okay now we put the value of a b c f g h here from the above line we get 7 into b means minus 1 into c means minus 2 plus 2 into f f means minus 2 g is 2 and f g h h is given by minus 3 and minus a this is 7 into f square f square means 4 minus b b means this is plus 1 into g square g square means 4 plus sorry plus, yes plus c this is 2 so we get plus 2 into h square h square this is equal to 9 okay and now by calculating we get the result this is equal to 32 by calculating we already calculate here and this is 32 and we write this is not equal to 0 okay now we find the other quantity d and d is given by clearly a b minus h square so a b minus h square this is given by a b means minus 7 minus h square means 9 so this is minus 16 okay and we write this is less than 0 now we applying the condition to find the nature of this point here delta is 0 if delta is 0 then it represents a pair of straight line and together with delta equal to 0 and d equal to 0 d equal to 0 then it is parallel straight line and then in this case this is intersecting line and if delta not equal to 0 we get here the third case delta not equal to 0 and d greater than 0 then it is ellipse and delta not equal to 0 and d less than 0 then it is hyperbola okay so we get the second case of the nature okay uh, so we write here here delta this is equal to 32 this is not equal to 0 and d equal to minus 16 this is less than 0 so given given equation given equation represent represent hyperbola okay and clearly we give the answer of the second question that is the nature what is the nature of the conic so the hyperbola is the nature of the conic or the conic represents a hyperbola okay and obviously we know that canonical form of the hyperbola is given by x square by a square minus y square by b square this is equal to 1 okay 
and we have to find the canonical form that is in this form. Now to transform this equation into canonical form, we apply here two coordinate transformation. The first one is translation and second one is rotation. And another one point must be mentioned here which is delta not equal to zero this means this is a central point okay that is the conic we get here hyperbola must have a center from this value of delta and d okay now we have to find out the center of the conic and then we translate the equation or we give a translation or origin shifting to the center of the conic okay and before going to translation we first find out the center of the conic and here we find easily center of the conic by two method we mention one by one if we take first two line of delta okay and we write the equation as a alpha plus h beta plus g this is equal to 0 and h beta plus sorry h alpha h alpha b beta plus f this is equal to 0 and putting the value of a this is given by 7 alpha minus 3 beta plus g this means 2 this is equal to 0 and h alpha this is minus 3 alpha plus b beta b means minus 1 plus f f means minus 2 this is equal to 0 so we get the second equation this is plus if we take common negative okay and now multiply this is by 3 then we get this is 9 this is 3 and this is plus plus 6 okay and adding them we get the result as 16 alpha this is equal to minus 8 so alpha this is equal to minus half okay and similarly if we put the value of alpha in the second equation we easily find beta value of beta which is also given by minus half okay and alpha beta this is the center of the conic this is the central conic and alpha beta this is the center so center center alpha beta this is equal to minus half comma minus half we get the center of the conic easily from this relation also we have to find out the center of the conic by using the partial derivative if we take this this given equation as the function of xy this is fxy and we make two equation by partial derivative of x and partial derivative of y we get del f del x this is equal to 0 and del f del y this is equal to 0 and if we solve this two equation we get the center and we get the same result this is minus up minus up the value of xy so we get the center of the point okay now we translate or we give the shifting of origin to the point alpha beta okay so we give a translation give a translation translation of coordinate as as x this is equal to x dash minus half and y this is equal to y dash minus half okay since the formula of translation is this x equal to x dash plus alpha and y equal to y dash plus alpha here alpha and beta are both half now if we put x equal to this and y equal to this in the given equation we directly write the resulting equation as by the formula we first write the second degree term by using dash okay and the second degree term by using dash this means 7 x square 
minus 6 x dash y dash minus y dash square. Okay. And another term, another term that is x term and y term, that is the 1 degree term here eliminated by translation. For this reason, we give here a translation or shifting of origin to remove 1 degree term. Okay. And the formula is this and the another term, this is constant term, is given by delta by d. This is equal to 0. We can write directly this result. Okay, so we get here the resulting equation. This is 7 x dash square minus 6 x dash y dash minus y dash square. And if we put the value of delta and d, that is this is 32 and this is minus 16. So we get minus 2. This is equal to 0. Okay, this is the resulting equation by using the coordinate transformation translation. Now to remove x dash y dash term we give here a rotation okay and we write that now to remove now to remove x dash y dash term we make a rotation rotation of angle theta and and x dash, this is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and y dash, this is equal to, this is equal to given by x sin theta plus y cos theta. Okay. And here we directly write the another result which is given by a x square by using notation plus b y square this is equal to this is equal to 2 because here the constant is minus 2 so in the right side this is 2 okay and here we must have to write the angle of rotation is where where angle of rotation is given by theta this is equal to half into tan inverse 2h by b minus a okay and this is half into tan inverse 2h what is h h means minus 3 so this is minus 6 by b minus a this is minus 1 minus 7 okay so the angle of rotation theta this is half into tan inverse this is 6 by 8 so half into tan inverse this is 3 by 4 okay this is the angle of rotation and this angle have no function here but this angle must be right here because by using this angle rotation we get this value okay now here to find the value of a and b we use an important property of two dimensional geometry which is invariant property and we know that these two quantities delta and d are invariant under translation and under rotation or we say that these two properties are invariant under orthogonal transformation okay and if we compare this equation with the general equation of second degree then we get that here a equal to a and b equal to b we write here a b minus h square h square is 0 here so by or after rotation since rotation gives the invariant result of delta and d and if we use this property we get a b minus h square this is a b minus h square here AB, this AB and H square this 0 because here is no term including X1. And for AB minus H square, this is the original AB minus H square. And we get this is AB, AB means minus 7 minus H square. This is equal to minus 
9. So we get minus 16. Okay, so we get a relation AB this is equal to minus 16. Also, we use here an important property that is A plus B. This is equal to A plus B. This is also invariant. Okay, and this property gives A plus B, which is given by A plus B, and A plus B means 7 minus 7 minus 1. So 7 minus 1, this is 6. Okay. And we find a minus b whole square. And this gives a plus b whole square minus 4ab. Okay. And putting the value of a plus b, this is 6, that is 36 minus 4 into this is given by minus 16. That is, we get. 100, 36 plus 64 and getting the value of a minus b this is 10 we get the value of a minus b this is 10 and value of a plus b this is 6 so clearly by adding these two result we get the value of a which is given by 10 plus 6 by 2 this is 8 right and by Taking difference of these two relation, we get the value of B, this is minus 2. Because A minus B minus A plus B, this is 10 minus 6. So 4 and here we get in the left side minus 2B, so B is minus 2. We get two value A and B. Okay. Now we write the final canonical form. We write here. Here we write the canonical form of the equation. So the canonical form is given here. We already find the canonical form of this equation which is given by ax square. So we get 8, this is capital X square minus this is 2 into y square. y square means capital Y square, this is equal to 2. So we get this is x square by 8x square by 2 minus 2y square by 2 this is 1 this gives x square by 1 by 4 minus y square by 1 this is equal to 1 and this is our final answer this is the hyperbola or this is the canonical form ok so we give the total solution of this problem this is the canonical form we get at the end of the video and we already find here the nature. Okay. So, very very interesting and important problem of general equation of second degree. Thank you. Thank you for watching.